Today we sit down with the man at the helm of the Liberty Men's Basketball Program, head coach Richie McKay. In your career, have you ever had like a, uh, whether it's an offensive or defensive, like philosophical shift? Like have you ever had a moment where you're like, I'm, I, I run this, and then you said, you know what, I'm not going to do that anymore, I'm going here. Have you done that at all in your career? Well, when we had guys that shoot it like you do, oh, we're much more defensive yeah, oriented. Yeah, that's yeah, probably a good yeah, idea. Yeah. No, we, <laughs> you know, that, that to me is the whole trick in coaching. I, I think for me, my personality used to slant towards the offensive end. Yeah. And although I love the offensive end and that part of it really intrigues me, it's a, it's a puzzle, a never-ending uh, Rubik's Cube, if you will. But having been with Tony Bennett, you know, I'm, I'm a staunch – staunchly committed to the defensive end. You've been doing this a long time, especially for a relatively young man no, like thank yourself. You. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Glad, I'm glad yeah. you prefaced it. <laughs> Do you still get nervous before games? Are you, like a, are you like feeling sick? Are you doing the pacing thing? What do you feel leading up to a so, game? So, no, I don't really get nervous. I'm just I'm anxious to compete, and I love to compete. And, uh, and I think for, for us, there's that agenda that we want to make Liberty basketball. We want, we want it to be on the map because it just brings – greater recognition to this university and uh, if that happens uh, our jobs will be well done you don't seem nervous you don't so so you don't portray i'm usually all jittery ready to go you yeah. seem cool calm collected you got the sharp suits I, you need to introduce me to your suit guy by the way yeah, you, you, you know, got that you got that working you probably don't want to drink much more coffee before if, or go decaf before the game because I, I see you with I that i need to take a couple laps around the arena just to kind of that might not be yeah, a bad idea yeah. either and the suit guy <laughs> yeah I don't buy it. You're always GQ. So, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Nah. JCPenney is what I am. <laughs> Shout out to JCPenney, yeah. <laughs> Who's the one guy that, the recruit maybe that got away? That one guy that you're like, man, that guy, I thought, I thought we had a shot. I thought it was going to work. The one that got away. This is an easy one. Yeah? So there's a kid that uh, Brad Susie was recruiting, and yeah. he calls me, and he says, hey, we can get this kid. I know his AU coach. It's wired for us. I was at New Mexico at yeah. the time. What is he like? He said, ah, oh, 6'5", kind of a yeah. tweener, a little heavier now, but, you know, he's going to be good, Coach. I know. Just trust me on this. Yeah. And I'd really trust Brad, but I, I go and see him play. I say, eh, I'm not so sure. Well, it's Jared Dudley, who <laughs> – Yeah. Yeah, all league at yeah. uh, Boston College. I think he's in his 10th or 11th year yeah. in the NBA. Yeah. I missed on that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Russell Westbrook, a guy told me about Russell Westbrook when I was at New Mexico, and I went to see him play. And I thought, yeah, he's a mid-major recruit, you know, really athletic, yeah, but he can't really yeah, shoot. Yeah. Well, I missed on that yeah, one too. But, well, uh, yeah. more often than not, <laughs> it's uh, it's worked out the other way. Fortunately, I like to think if there's and God gave me a few few talents, and uh, I think we do a decent job of evaluating. But those are two certainly that uh, uh, I, I under evaluated. Yeah, they've they've done okay for yeah. themselves. Yeah. So much recently especially with, like, you know, Steph Curry, Splash Brothers, what they've been doing, you hear so much talk about the three-point shot. Yeah. People say, oh, the three-point shot, it's ruining basketball. So many offenses now are just built around that. I know that's a big part of what you like to do. How would you respond to that criticism that the three-point shot is, is ruining the game or changing it for the worse? I like to think it's the great equalizer. I mean, it gives you a chance if you can't recruit great size or if you're in the NBA and you haven't made – the right decisions relative to your center position, I think it allows you a chance to be competitive because you get an extra point. So I love it. Yeah. I think, again, for us in the in the conference we reside in presently, as well as in in hopes of an NCAA tournament bid and a chance to knock off the uh, Goliath, if yeah. you will, uh, we're, we would need that in order to win the game. When you see these Cinderella teams that win in the NCAA tournament in advance and it becomes a literally a week-long commercial if you yeah, make the Sweet yeah. 16. And with the evolution of analytics in our game, uh, I just think we'd be unwise not to factor that three-point equation into the puzzle. All right, last question, and, and I'll leave you with an easy one. It's been talked about a lot lately. The greatest NBA basketball player of all time is who? Because you have the final say. Whatever you say, I believe I mean, it from here on out. Nobody can, can change my mind. Who is it? That would... To say that yeah. means I'm really old because I've covered oh, all these no, decades. You just, you just have a lot of wisdom. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. You've accumulated in a relatively so short amount I, of time. I'd have to put it in two categories. Okay. I, who I think is the greatest? Michael Jordan. Yeah. I mean, he did it. He yeah. dominated. Yeah. And he instilled fear in his opponent. He inspired his teammates, uh, whether 
it, you consider it rightly or wrongly yeah, yeah. by the way he competed. But uh, my favorite, and you're, you're going to laugh at it, it was Steve Nash until Steph Curry came really? on the scene. Yeah, because I, I love the point guard position. Yeah. And I, Ste- to me, Steph Curry has revolutionized the game. Yeah. What he does with the ball is, is it's magic. And uh, that him being a believer, a Christian, and not, a, not ashamed of his faith, I love it. Coach, I'll put you down for MJ. That's kind of where I thought you would lean. Yeah. I thought you'd go that direction. Yeah. You would too. I, absolutely, absolutely. I knew no it. argument for me. MJ, MW, kind of, yeah. We are very much similar in a lot of ways. <laughs> Coach, thanks for the time. Always a pleasure, yeah. man. See you, man.